Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 16. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here and welcome back to this week's news report. We are now at week 16 in 2024. That means that we are well and truly in April. Things are moving and there has certainly been some high waves in the last week, especially when it comes to our trading. And some of the things we're going to discuss today is actually something I pre-alerted you a bit about last week, but basically our new PAM launch. So as we promised, the RSI Liberator EA that has now been launched. It has actually been running for a few days behind the scenes here. Some of uh, the new people within the Blackpool market itself, they have found it. So the account is up. We're going to have a closer look exactly how that looks, what you can expect from it after only a few days. And obviously, we're also going to have a look at the Wave Pam account in here. This is the one that's now been running for about 50 days. We had a new all-time high profit. It was already high last week with about six and a half thousand. This week we are at nine thousand profit just for this particular week alone. But we're going to start off with yield notes, and there's a big question mark now. Why is that? Well, there's pretty much no information from Wood, Steve, or anybody else in yield notes. So we're not going to go over all the other things that we have done here previously. We're going to jump straight into the SAP coin instead. Having a closer look at this, when we left it last time, it was at the um, seven zeros and nine at the end of the day, up where the red circle is here. Since then, things has been again going downwards here. Last week, remember, we had slight upwards trend, but again, these numbers are so infinite and small, so uh, it looks like it can change at any single minute. But it's still going downwards, nothing else is happening. And obviously because there's no news, as you saw here before, then nobody really has a big interest in trading or basically holding on to these things, apart from us maybe, where we are going into the SAP and SAP staking. So we might as well do that instead of uh, throwing this out into the market and we are getting nothing out of it. In this particular case here, uh, we didn't get anything out of it this week. As you can see, last time something came in was actually on the 9th of April. So that was from last week. And if we have a quick look down in the month, we can see the month of April is pretty much uh, lined up together with March and also February here. Nothing much has happened overall, which of course is a bit of a disappointment. So 0%, zero percent, zero saps for that particular week. When it comes to PNY, slightly better. We did have one in here. So on the 19th of April, we got the usual 133 PNY. That also means that we have now surpassed uh, the for the month of April a bit more cash than that we did for March, which is good. But we are still behind both February and January. So let's see, we still have a few days to go in this particular month. Hopefully things will look a lot better. Overall, the profit for the week was only 0.7%, so not really much, or as I said, 133 PNY. So uh, again, deeply disappointing, but it was expected as we have seen so many times before. It is very uh, unstable, so very erratic uh, in other words. So uh, all we can do is hope that Yelnos and Decidemi is going to come back here sometime soon. In the meantime, we're going to have a look at Bitcoin versus USDT. Also here last week, we left it at more than 70,000. Since then it dropped and during the new support here, it was just hovering around uh, 67,200 mark. And then it had a drop shortly after over the weekend here. And then it's been pretty much trading sideways, if you can call it that, all the way down to 59,600. And the top part here was just around the 66. And right now we are looking at 63,889. So again, it can go both ways. We'll have to wait and see. Also on the trillion news, not really much news. The only thing that comes out here is that the update on the ongoing compliance is not really an update. It's still improving slowly as they are telling us in here. And then again, when you click the read more button, then you're going to get a bit more of an update. Again, uh, they like to thank everybody for the loyalty and confidence. I don't know who they're talking about here. We have certainly lost some confidence in all this long time ago, 
especially because the information is so very little and it doesn't seem like anything is going to change. So don't hold your breath for this particular one here for uh, too long. The only thing we can look at is for the coinstore.com within the three coins here. We left it at exactly the same point. As you can see, we are again here today, one week later. All has happened is it has moved a bit downwards, a bit upwards, and then pretty much sideways all through the week. So again, nothing much to uh, basically talk about when it comes into the tree coin this week around. There is a bit of an update also on Money Tree here. Funny enough, the low risk one here for week 16 has $49, 0.9%, which is way beyond the uh, medium and high risk account, both medium and high risk ended up with $17 and for the medium risk we had 0.3%, high risk had 05 but then again this is very very small numbers so we are not really going to have a closer look for this particular week to see how the graph looks so this is only minute changes. We have some bigger uh, than minute changes definitely on the profit retriever seems to be on the move forward again so when we are looking at the top five EAs we can see that the US 30 uh, the second signal in here did very, very well with $824, so 8.2%. The FTSE 100 after that, so these are the indexes, $452, 4.5%. And then we have the Great British Pounds, AUD, $370, so 3.7%. Euro, AUD, $279, so 2.8%. And then ending up in the top five, so is the New Zealand USD, $229, so 2.3%. And if you would have traded those particular five in the past week or week 16 here, you would have made $2,154 or 4.3%. And that has definitely been going better and better in the last couple of weeks. The profit retriever did end up in a bit of a drawdown. And if we have a closer look at some of the numbers in here, again, weekly returns 1.6, monthly returns 6.9. Don't forget that we are not changing the lot sizing in here. That is why it continues to go down. I mentioned it many, many times. We are closer to the 10, 15% mark than we are with the seven in here. But our history is a very impressive 764 days overall. And then when we have a look at the net profits, so these are the weekly profits we are looking at here. We have to look at the bottom part to see how it does in 2024. So in March, it was down to 1,500, then we had uh, mid-March 2,800, then a terrible uh, part. This was again Easter, 445. And then it's been picking up again, 1,079, 1,589. And then this week, it was 2,682 overall for this. So definitely looking a lot better. And you can obviously find a lot more about the profit retriever. If you want to trade it, then you click on the dark blue link over here, or you can go to the copy trading where you can also find the other signals that we're going to talk about in this particular video here. All you have to do is click the portfolio and then you get the portfolio of opportunities. You can see all the different things that we are actually adding on free of charge to anybody who wants to come by the website. And one of the things in here is actually the trade explorer. That one has also been on the very low side in the last couple of weeks. This week, it certainly kicked off a lot better. 22 pairs did $321 at 3.2% and the 10 pair one, uh, very nice $832 or 8.3%. That's where we normally are used to having this particular one in here. So it's good to see that it's picking up the pace again and having a quick look at the 22 pair. Also this one in here, again, because it's on the copy link service that you can link to. And we have the links here. So this is link uh, 145C for the 22 pair. You can see the history is now 340 days, so almost one year now. And you're going to have a look down. You can see it only making a few hundred bucks in here, all the way down at Easter at 60, and then slowly picking up again, 321. It's one of the best ones we have seen in a long time. We have to go back to December 2024. So good and positive news, definitely for the 22 pair. 10 pair one is also in here. That's link 146C. That one is a bit more aggressive, even though the company itself, and I've been asked about that many times through my YouTube channels and emails, that it is more aggressive. It has higher drawdowns, even though it only has 10 pairs instead. 
History is the same, but as you can see also monthly return, it is higher. And definitely if it's traded outside of the uh, copy link section, you can increase your lot size all the time with this and get a lot more out of it. Now also here we had the best one back in January 2024. So that was mid January 1279 for this signal. Since then it's been a couple of hundreds, then it ended up in 300s down to 200s and then again in April 188, very, very low. And then look what happened this particular week, a lot of volatility in here. And then straight away the EA cashed in $832. So quite impressive and pretty much the I see there's another one 800 here back in December. So it's about the third largest we have in at least the scope uh, of all the weeks we are looking back at. We also have to look at the Wave Liberator. This is also again week 16, the top five EAs in here. This week we have the Aussie Swiss francs at 70 bucks or 7%. The New Zealand Japanese at $68 or 6.8%. Swiss francs Japanese, 50 bucks or 5%. Aussie Japanese, $46 or 4.6%, and then Great British Pounds USD, $42 or 4.2%. You can definitely see that the Japanese one this particular week here, even though it was trending, still managed to cash in some of the right parts and catch up with the Wave Liberator EA. So if you would have traded those top five in the last week, you would have made $277 or 5.5%. Don't forget, this is basically set up as it was a $1,000 account. That's why the numbers is a bit smaller. If you would have gone out and maybe traded this 10 times higher, then basically, again, the Aussie Swiss francs would have made you 700 bucks and 7% also on that particular account. So don't forget that. Now you can go and have a look and see here that we have the 20 signals for the Wave Liberator. We put them all together in here. And again, you can see the monthly returns 1.4. It used to be 1.6, but again, we are not changing the lot size as we are increasing uh, the money itself. We started off with 200,000. So now we had about 14,000, but the floating profit and loss is down by 2,951. Uh, and that's because there's still a bit of a drawdown left over from all these EAs, especially after this week here. It's been quite heavy on drawdowns, but again, you can see it doesn't really matter anything in here at all, even though you would have pumped it up and said 10 times, then you would have a drawdown of 29,000 29, in here. So that is still only a couple of percent over the 10% mark. So pretty okay, but look at the uh, line in here. This is again, because when we are trading 20 different EAs, all set up in the same portfolio, then you get a nice smooth line, they cover for each other and you get a very nice and stable income month after month. That's exactly how we do it on the PAM accounts in here and also on the live accounts that we're gonna show you later on in this program. These are the 20 that uh, we have at the moment set up, which is more than enough. So these are the major currency pairs in here in various uh, selections and you can obviously take all of the ones same as we do or you can take simply just the best and then run with that that's entirely up to you if we have a look at the scale again you can see it looks very very nice in here the monthly returns as we saw before and then you have a look at the net profits see how it develops so even though you are doing it extremely slow and steady in here very very nice uh, updates every single week you have five hundred dollars last week we had 659 this week we have 622 and you can see all the way down to january is the lowest one i think now we have one in february 240 here apart from that it is 300 400 almost 500 here 360 380 so very very good and stable numbers so for the wave liberator now we also have the new one in here, the RSI Liberator that we started to trade. And obviously you also need the top five in here. You can see the Euro Great British Pounds, $111 or 11.1% pretty well, just for one particular week of profit. Also USD, $63 or 6.3%. Great British Pounds against the Japanese, $52, 5.2%. And then the US Swiss francs, $49, 4.9%. Followed by New Zealand Japanese, 42 dollars, 4.2 percent, 
Again, there's two Japanese in here against the British pounds and New Zealand. And if you would have traded those top five, which is not available to you yet, we'll uh, let them trade on our accounts a bit longer before we give them over to the coupling service, you would have made $318 or 6.4%. And that is definitely a very, very good start for this RSI. Now, if we have a look at the account, we're doing something similar to what you just saw on the Wave Liberator. The balance for this particular one is 16 accounts of $10,000. Again, you can use it for FTMO, you can use it for other parts. That is why we're actually trading it so low, because people that uh, has smaller accounts, so a $1,000 account, you can use it on that instead. So the monthly returns at the moment, 1.2%. If you add it up to a $10,000 account instead of 1,000, that would be 12%. And then weekly returns will be 3% overall. Trade wins, 66.8 is a bit low at the moment, so let's hope it's going to come up. Trades per day, 20, and then history, 13 days. So obviously, again, we have we're back tested and traded these ones here before, but this time around, we have set it up slightly different or let's say uh, similar to the Wave Liberator. So hopefully we can compare these things. And you can obviously find a lot more details on the website again. Portfolio of Opportunities is actually the place you should go to, the Wave Liberator, you'll see uh, all the sections in here for all the coupling services and all the videos and the same thing here for the RSI Liberator. Just before we go to the PAM account, which is basically supported by both of them here with our launch now also for the RSI Liberator. So if you click this particular link here, you will get onto that particular site. Again, you can see some Wave Liberator results and videos. You will also see the for RSI. And then you have a real life FX Blue trading account that we are showing exactly how it works in real life, how we can actually add in EAs and how we can actually also uh, increase lot sizes because this particular account has come exactly from the coupling service we are giving uh, away here to Expert Forex. Um, this account was started off in December 2023, about mid-December, I believe. The balance was $10,000. And you can now see that that has basically doubled. So to $20,433 at the moment, equity is be be below the $20,000 in here. Floating profits is minus 1,200, which is okay. So that is uh, well within the limitations still. Close profits over 10,000, as we said, free margins, everything else looks good. The account type is the real type. And then you have the returns of 92.9% monthly returns at the moment. It has gone up in the last couple of weeks. Uh, this account has been doing quite well. 17.2 or weekly returns of 3.9 at the end of the day. Look also at the trade wind, 69.9 in here. So very well, history 139 days. And you can also see that the trend is actually going up. If we go to the next part, You'll see exactly the trade and instead of having this smooth curve all the way, you have a very curved one in here and that's again because this is real life money. Every single time the account is actually growing, you're instead ending up adding more EAs to it and for this particular one here, we have pretty much all the EAs for the Wave Liberator version in here. We set them up. Once you get to the a full amount of EAs. You can then also add more uh, lot sizing to the individual EAs. And if you have the coupling service, you can change the profit factor also. So that's why you're seeing completely different numbers, a lot higher, 3.9, 17.2%, profit factor of 2.38, and then a history of 139 days. So obviously long enough to make sure that it also works with real life money. If we have a look on the right hand side here, we can see the weekly profits in here. It's been doing quite well, 400, 200, 300. So it looks like slowly but surely it's going up. We ended up in March with a couple of 600s and then again Easter 484. And then all of a sudden it has been working quite well. Obviously we have adjusted, but not that on the heavy side here, but still the last couple of weeks it has been doing more than a thousand and also this week was not a, a new all time high, it's actually about three bucks short. But have a look when you go over on the other side and have a look at the monthly basis. So again, started off in December back there, you can see the monthly profits slowly but surely going up. 
And then all of a sudden here in April, it has been a tremendous month so far. So from March, $2,330, we have already gone past 4,000 and we still have quite a few trading days uh, to go in here. So that is going to be a new all time high for this particular account for sure. New all time high we also have. We have currently $285,000 under management. So now we have two accounts in here. Obviously, we're going to go through those and see how they have been doing. Also, you can find a lot more details as usual uh, on the website for this. But let's have a look at the first wave investment account that we have set up, the real Pam account history of about 50 days in here that has grown tremendously up to 270. So going quite well. You can see the equity is a bit on the low side, 240. So we had, well, all of the uh, individual accounts have had a heavy drawdown this particular week, quite interesting. But we have closed also uh, about 30,000 and we have a floating profit and loss of 30. Don't worry about it, it will change quickly enough. If you have a look and try to calculate what has been the uh, drawdown for this particular week, so this is some of the highest it has been at, which is about 11%, so not really something to be concerned or worried about at the moment. And then you see total returns, monthly returns at the moment. That one is also going up quite dramatically at the moment, which is good. Trade wins is a bit low on the 65.4%. Trades per day is 18, so it's going quite well. Again, if you have a look at the other graph in here, you can certainly see the difference and how it's actually rocketing up. Weekly returns 2.6 and monthly returns 11.2, as I mentioned. And then have a look at the daily profits over here. On the right hand side, you can see how it's been doing. And especially since, uh, well, actually second week of April, it had quite a good run after uh, Easter here also. Easter was about uh, back here in uh, March 29th and uh, that was really really low then things were actually happening here on the individual days early April 2200 and then it dropped again and then we have another 2000 and then a bit more than a thousand a day very good day on the 17th with 2400 and then on Thursday it was quite low 908 and then all of a sudden Friday was really volatile period in here 3252 so again a clear winner a new all-time high for this particular account just for one day if you have a look at the weekly one you can see the heavy development since we started 523 dollars in the first week and as money is pouring in we are changing the lot sizing we are setting up more eas so it goes from 1700 to 4000 then Easter hits in here, so obviously it drops everything down to 1690. And then right after it picks up again, 6,000, 6,500, almost here last week. And then we have our new all time high once more with $9,374 in just a week. So this PAM account is certainly on fire at the moment. Having a look on the monthly side, first month of March, which was not even a full month, and obviously with very low. Cash overall net profit we still made eight thousand. Look at what we are at already. At April we have uh, managed to secure twenty one thousand nine hundred already, and we still have almost one third of the trading week to go, which we are then hoping we can end up somewhere around the uh, thirty thirty five thousand mark. It all depends, obviously, also if more money is coming in or not. It all has a bit of an effect. All the effects you can actually see on our website again so this is for the PAM account itself where you can get started as you can see we started this wave PAM account on the 4th of March and if you want to link to any of them you simply click here it doesn't matter which one and you can follow it on FX Blue directly on our website exactly how well it is operating and how it's actually moving forward also here for the real PAM RSR investment account you will also see that one and uh, at the moment it started off with 10,000. A few people actually put a bit of money in. Uh, a few people actually put money in and then took it out again for some reason. Uh, but they are obviously uh, allowed to do that in the individual phase in here. So far it has done okay. You can see uh, the close profit just for yeah, three days down here was 767. 
but at the moment it's in minus. This happens many, many times for these particular accounts in the beginning until they stabilize after a couple of months. Floating profits minus 1,000, so that's also why you have the return at minus two at the moment. But FX Blue is calculating the monthly returns at 43%. Uh, and weekly returns of 8.9 might be a bit high at the moment here so definitely this is not where we're expecting to be uh, it will be dialed down if that continues uh, we don't want to take that much risk at the end of the day um, trade wins 65 percent at the moment but we don't have that many uh, accounts uh, or trades still even though the trades per day you can see is at 38 so quite high so far and we'll see if that evens out also over time if we have a look at that particular graph, again, the same numbers as I told you about here before. The graph is going in the right direction, up and up. And we can see the first day didn't much, didn't do much of a trading, uh, $11. And then the next day here, 110 And then all of a sudden also here on Friday, it did a really good job with $646. Everything went quite smooth. And obviously now everybody can both add money in here and enjoy some of these profits that you're seeing at the moment. All you have to do is also go to the web page here, click on the start button and you can actually follow everything in here. So, or obviously if you are an investor, you can follow it directly from your investment account also with the Black Bold um, broker. Further to this, we obviously also have all the things where you can be running things from. And because we have a new account set up also, you will have a download set up instructions for the PAM account. So which one you actually want, how it's done. There's the pictures and descriptions in here. And we also added a new section. So this is just to tell you the WAVE and the RSI Liberator accounts. They are set up on the same broker, but they are using different parts of the Black Bull broker account platform. And we are basically just explaining to you Okay, if you're using the Wave Liberator, it's gonna work like this. If you have the RSI Liberator, it's gonna work like that. Uh, still, you will get your profits every single month. Nothing has really been changed, but we are working with Blackpool to figure out which ones are the best accounts or how we can best make use of these particular EAs overall. Now, I know there's many of you guys that are already asking, especially from US and Canada, we are getting emails in. So almost on a daily basis for a lot of people that actually wants to come and join this particular part but can't enter with the Blackpool uh, account at the moment. We are looking in the background of various options and we will get back to you. Everybody is getting an email that uh, sends this in to info at hightechinvestments.com. And that also means that we'll contact you again once we are good, set and ready. And you will be the, one of the first ones to actually be able to join. Now we don't have to forget Expert Forex and Alex also here. He has also made a few videos this week. We pulled this one out of the library here where he says welcome to the new training room. He explains a bit about his setup and also some of the things that he's actually going through. So this is now part of a free training course on different uh, other sections of supporting the uh, different currency pairs, how to analyze these things. So hopefully you can become a better trader. And that's what we have for you in this week's news report. I really hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give me a comment and a like. And I will make sure that we have even more profits. We have more information for you next week again. So hopefully until then, bye bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.